Roy Illingworth, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, your daughter asked in the Senate the other day, what kind of person do you think I am? Well, can you answer that for us? Um, yeah, that's a hard one. Um, uh, well, the way I see it, the way she is and the way she's changed over the years is that uh, I think she's a very racist person against white people. And, uh, and she doesn't acknowledge any of her white side. So, yeah, I'm a bit disappointed in her, the way she's been carrying on lately. Because uh, after all, she has got uh, English background as well as Irish, um, a convict side of the English. Um, so, yeah, the way she's carrying on, I don't know, she's been uh, probably I don't know, used by someone or some people. But normally she never used to be like that. Maybe it's the power going to her head too. Not sure. But you know, wonder... she's still my daughter. I still love her. Yeah, but you mentioned the racism business and at that strip club yeah. uh, last Sunday morning, for instance, she said uh, she called someone a, a white C word, a little dog, uh, yeah. and said we, meaning apparently Aborigines and her, have been oppressed all our effing life in this country as well. Now, you're, you're white, uh, you're her father. When she says she was oppressed all her life, is that how you remember it? Yeah, no, there's no way she was. She, she was spoiled. Um, at, in my era, with all the elders and everything, at, back then, she was the first kind of born among, you know, all the cousins and everything, so she was really spoiled. She, she never went without anything growing up. Um, we're always, I was in rented houses, wasn't in commission houses. We rented a, rented houses, so she, she was the sport. She, she got everything she wanted, and she knows that too. So, you know, and, and most of the... The city people there, they, you know, they've grown up pretty, pretty comfortably. But they've been all right. Um, yeah. So, no, she's she's not right there. So, and now she's even more privileged now. So the position well, she's in. When is it, Roy, that your daughter first became politicised as you know, sort of like a political Aborigine, as it were, uh, and you know, not not someone of white and English and Irish and Aboriginal ancestry, but just Aboriginal. When was that? Um, would have been when she was probably uh, 16, 17. The first kind of one to stop the pipeline from going through now and now. Um, they were going to go across the, the creek or the river there and she stopped that so they had to divert around it. That was the, basically the start of it all. And then from then on, she was just you know, with the greenies and stuff like that. And um, it's probably, I know, since she's been running for a politician, that she's more kind of turned racist. She's never, ever mentioned anything about me in all her speeches or anything like that. Never mentioned anything about her white father, um, which you know, sometimes disappoints me a bit because I know when she was younger and little, she was never like that. But, well, yeah, she did she's, post um, on uh, social media once that uh, you were racist, so uh, I guess it's uh, yeah. you know, going both the other both ways at the moment. Now, it's no oh, yeah, secret no, I, that I you are estranged from your daughter. Can I ask why that is? Don't answer if it's uh, too personal. Um, well, I, I, probably because I moved away too from her and I just didn't... I didn't, I don't know, towards the end, I didn't trust her. Um, she was. She said a lot of bad and evil things to me over the years. And I just kind of, you know, I just fell out and I fell out away from her. She never acknowledged her, her brother, her only brother, because he's white, her other sister. Um, yeah, it's just... Uh, she, was, she was very cruel to me in a few times. So I just didn't have really much to do with her. And, but we still, she still contacts me for Father's Day and birthday and she rang me not long ago. So, yeah, we still love each other. And at the end of the day, she's always going to be my daughter. So what can you do?
The Prime Minister said this week that your daughter has obvious health issues and should seek help. But is that true? Uh, is, would that be the reason for her behaviour? No, she's, she's just a, a strong woman. She, she's, you know, she'll, um, she'll just have a go. And if she sees something that she's right in, she'll just go through with all that. But that, that's the way she is. That's the way she's always been, Lydia. She, she's got no health problems. She just says it as it is. And, that, yeah. and when you now see her in public, uh, Roy, uh, you see her lying in front of a float. Is Sydney's gay and lesbian Mardi Gras confronting police there, also abusing police in Melbourne, telling them they're the real criminals, uh, telling Aborigines on Australia Day this year that they're at war with whites and whites are raping their women. What is your reaction to all that? Yeah, yeah, I oh, know it's bad. It's and, I, and I've got friends that ring me; they they feel bad for me. Um, the funny thing with with the Mardi Gras one, she only rang me the day before, and she rang me up to say that I was in a dream or something like that. And we're talking for a little while, and and then, you know, the next day she's laying in front of a float. <laughs> so you never know what she's going to get up to. But yeah, it doesn't sound good, and I know. The elders, when I grew up back then, you know, when we were younger, they wouldn't be liking all this neither. But it's interesting, you know, don't... It, it, maybe I'm being, a, you know, an, an amateur Freud or something. I don't know. But the fact that she doesn't acknowledge her white heritage and is so angry at authority... Is this got anything, is that, uh, do you think there's sort of like daddy issues at play here? Is this aimed at you in any way? No, no, she, she, um, no, it's nothing to do with that. It'd be, it'd be just someone that's in her ear and, you know, she's gone that way as an activist and that's just the way, yeah, that's the way she's gone. There's nothing to do with me, like. I know she tells me she loves me and stuff like that, so you can't tell someone you love them and then, you know, bag them or, or um, you know, come out with uh, racist stuff like that. So, yeah. And, Roy, just lastly, uh, Lydia Thorpe says she's against the voice, but only because it's in the wrong sequence, right? She wants sovereignty, Aboriginal sovereignty and a treaty, different nations uh, divided by race, and then perhaps a voice like, you know, almost like a parliament, I guess, of a new, I don't know. But that's what she wants. How do you feel about yeah. that project where she would be saying, as your daughter, that she has more political rights and sovereignty and everything like that than you do? Yeah, I know. Yeah, I can't understand that. With, you know, I don't really get it right into that part of it, but, yeah, I know what you're saying, but... um. Yeah, I don't know. That's just coming from other people from it, you know, that's, that's guiding her through all this, I reckon. Um, yeah. That's, yeah. Like, like she, she's that bad that she, she's bringing her own kids up to hate the country they live in. You know, the only time I've seen my... I've got great-grand-great-granddaughters and uh, the only time I've seen them was she had a protest there and I was standing on each side of her. That's the first time I've seen them. That was a protest in Melbourne this week, uh, this year. Yeah, yeah. She had her daughter, and um, which was my granddaughter, and then each side of her, she had my great grand grandkids. Yeah, I've never, never really seen them. Well, that's that's sad. Families are tricky, and no doubt there's uh, you know two sides to a story. But uh, Roy mm. Illingworth, it's uh, it's not nice for a father to be. Uh, I know. You know, strange from their daughter and for their daughter to carry on like a pork chop as well, I guess. Makes it even harder. Uh, thank yeah. you so much indeed for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. No worries. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you.